it's Kelly welcome back to my channel and today's video is all about Cosrx probably the most like popular and accessible K beauty brand available now I recently did a best and worst Cosrx video in October of 2020 this is really a companion video to that but I'm just gonna be focusing on the top products that I recommend from Cosrx what they do best and if you love K beauty and skincare reviews please consider are subscribing to my channel and turning on notifications if you have not already anytime during the video all right let's get into it give the video a big thumbs up and let's get started <music> So first up is the Cosrx Full Fit Sika line. Now, not everything in the line is super impressive, I will admit, but there's actually quite a few different recommendations within this line that I think are really, really good, starting with the Full Fit Sika Toner. So we have Centella as well as the four active compounds found within Centella, like Matacasicide and Asiaticide. And we also have Pycnogenol, which is on the ingredients list as Pinus Panacea bark extract now this is a pretty powerful combination in my experience because we've got all the soothing calming benefits of centella but then we've got antioxidants and anti-inflammation benefits coming from pycnogenol it's a very strong potent ingredient really great for soothing and strengthening the skin and i really think that that is the secret to this toner because wow it really calms the skin it brings such a gorgeous soothing calming even like refreshing feeling to the skin it feels so so good we've got a really watery texture here very very hydrating i mean this just absorbs straight into the skin it's 100 hydration there's no moisture there's no slip nothing like that this just really gets in there and deeply replenishes the skin it feels so good, especially if you have dehydrated skin, which I do, so you know I'm super picky about hydration levels. This has that magic deep hydration to it, plus the soothing, the anti-irritation relief. Now there's just a few other products that I wanna highlight from the Sika line that could be worth your time that I really, really enjoy. The Sika Serum, really, really lovely. We've got that same Centella and the four active compounds in the serum in a really nice, light, hydrating gel texture. Feels really good on the skin, easily absorbed without any stickiness or tackiness. A very easy to use serum in my opinion. The wow factor on the serum, like as far as like the calming, I honestly feel a lot more like soothing relief with the toner. That just seems to be my experience and how my skin works, but this actually does make the skin feel calmer over a longer period of time like consistent use this also seems to reduce redness really really nicely and they do have a Sika cream in this line and I think it's pretty darn good this definitely brings the anti-irritation relief very quickly to the skin what I find kind of unique about the Sika cream from Cosrx is the texture I mean it's not terribly unique but it's a little bit different if you're used to the Sika creams that are very much like a moisturizer like a very thin thick, emollient, nourishing, maybe kind of heavy type of texture. This has a really pleasant gel meets cream type of texture. It's really airy. It's very hydrating with just a little bit of moisture, not a lot of occlusivity. It absorbs in the skin really nicely. And at the end of the day, what I expect to see a cream to do, which is bring instant relief, this does that beautifully. So next up, I want to talk about the Full Fit Propolis line. This is definitely worth your consideration, especially if you're like me and you absolutely love propolis like I am obsessed first I want to talk about the propolis light ampule but I, I got to talk about the name of this because they call this a light ampule but I would really categorize this as a medium weight ampule so don't let that name fool you and in fact a few months after they first launched this product they then came out with the ultra light ampule now I haven't tried that one but I have a feeling it is in response to the fact that this isn't really that light <laughs> at least in my opinion it's really not so um, if you are looking for a little bit of a lighter texture that might be the one to look at so we have 83 percent of propolis extract in here and it can do all kinds of wonderful things for the skin definitely it can soothe irritation 
irritation, uh, relieve inflammation, reduce redness on the skin. It's actually a great anti-acne ingredient because it's antibacterial and it's also got some great wound healing ability so it can help with pimples that need to heal. But it also has some wonderful anti-aging benefits to it as well. Plus, Propolis is famous for bringing a really healthy lit from within glow to the skin. So as I said, the texture here, it's more of a medium weight gel consistency, beautiful silky spread across the skin. And I would really say this is like a 50-50 serum when it comes to hydration and balancing moisture. It brings both in equal amounts, which I think is really contributing to that more medium weight feel on the skin. It hydrates, but it also balances the skin without grease, without oiliness, without like a lot of emolliency. It's just a very light moisture, but it feels really great, especially if you do have combination skin. This serves both areas of your face lovely. I also wanna highlight the Propolis Synergy Toner. So this has, I think it's 73% of Propolis extract plus 10% of honey extract, bringing a little bit more of that glow into the formula. And the texture really surprised me because you would think this is going to be kind of thick, maybe like a jelly type of toner, a little thickness and body to it. It's really not what you might be thinking. It's actually really watery. It does have a little bit of body to it. You can see there's a little bit of that like um, full fat water kind of feel to it. I picked that one up from James Welsh, um, but that's a really great term to describe this toner. It's got that fullness to it, but it's not thick in texture. It's just got a little body. It feels hydrating and moisturizing on the skin, but it's not in a heavy moisturizing way. Really blew my mind with this product from top to bottom. Great ingredients, great texture, great performance, and a unique type of product, bringing something different into my skincare routine. As a propolis fiend, I can definitely tell you this will really like this will really bring something extra into your routine. Now, just a very quick shout out um, in the Propolis line. They do have a moisturizer, the Propolis Light Cream. They actually delivered on this. I do believe this is a light cream. It's got an airy, silky texture, um, and there's really very little occlusivity to this. So if you're somebody who's maybe combo on the more oily side, or you know even oily looking for more of like a night cream, I think that this would be great for you. The lack of occlusivity, on this actually doesn't make it appropriate for me and my dehydrated skin and I think more dry skin you're not going to appreciate this but it is a little bit silkier and lighter and could be a nice option to look at I think Cosrx actually really nails moisturizers really well for very different skin types I'm going to talk about that later in the video so stay tuned if you're looking for moisturizer recommendations for different skin types now I do have to talk about the Propolis Honey Overnight Mask because I talked Talked about this in my best and worst video before this product was reformulated um, they uh, had a honey overnight mask and they're saying it's using honey except they didn't include any honey in the ingredients list like what yes this was like this is one product that I will definitely like expose. I've been talking about this for years. I was so like mad at the name, the honey overnight mask, no honey, but they were using like 80 some percent of propolis extract. So I find that very misleading. Anyways, I did have to talk about it in the video because they have finally changed the name to include propolis and they have actually added honey to the formulation. So I just want to shout that out because it's like, thank you for finally fixing this Cosrx. So my number three category, that you have to look at with Cosrx is snail. I mean, this is really what Cosrx does best, and this is really the OG product that put Cosrx on the global map and really is what Cosrx built their reputation on, right? It's the Advanced Snail 96 Mucin Power Essence. Now, I almost didn't include this in the video, like gas, but I did actually want to talk about snail because that line has actually gotten deeper in the last couple of years. They've launched some other snail nail-esque products that I think are even better than the original. Although I do think at some point you should try the original, but I really wanted to talk about the Advanced Snail Radiance Dual Essence. I really, really like this. They call this an essence. I actually just use it like a serum because it's so potent and jam-packed full of 
goodies. So we've got 70 some percent, I can't remember the exact percentage. We've got a little bit less than the original snail essence, but we've got like 70% of snail. Now, if you don't know, snail is a great wound healer, fantastic for acne prone skin. It reduces inflammation and redness, but it also has so many good like compounds and vitamins and minerals for the skin that are particularly good for anti-aging. It really can soothe the skin, plump the skin, brighten the skin, repair the skin. It's a wonderful ingredient and they have matched that up in this product with 5% of niacinamide. Now, you know, for me, that is like the golden percentage of niacinamide. It brings really good brightening benefits to the skin. It brings barrier supportive benefits to the skin, and it brings anti-aging benefits to the skin because 5% of niacinamide starts to stimulate your skin's collagen production, really helping with fine lines and wrinkles. So this is a like power packed little essence or serum that is going to bring all of the benefits of snail plus a healthy dose of brightening and anti-aging benefits. And it's got great absorbency into the skin. It's not sticky or tacky at the surface. It's a lovely texture. It's a great formula. If you're kind of like into more active ingredients, you want your snail to do just a little bit more for you, go for this product. They have really outdone them themselves on this one, in my opinion. And I have to mention the Advanced Snail Peptide Eye Cream. This is one of my favorite eye cream products. They have taken all the power of snail and matched it up with five different peptides. Snail is actually a lovely little um, eye cream ingredient because it plumps and smooths the skin, which is exactly what you want an eye cream product to do, to plump and smooth those fine lines that might be happening underneath, am I right? Plus we've got the peptides that bring the collagen stimulation, the fine lines and wrinkle like fighting benefits love the texture. It's silky. It's plumping. It's quickly absorbed. It's not overly heavy or emollient. It's got just a lovely, quickly absorbing texture. Those are the three in the snail line that I think are definitely worth checking out. If you haven't tried them, I do think they're excellent. The fourth area that I want to highlight where Cosrx really excels is moisturizers. I think this is a low key fact about Cosrx that most people don't talk about. They really nail moisturizers moisturizers really, really well. So I want to highlight a few of my favorites that are great for different skin types. So first up, I got to shout out the Green Tea Aqua Soothing Gel Cream. This is for all of you with oily skin, especially if you like a gel moisturizer. This is so good. I am so enamored of this product. I like it so much. And guys, I don't like this for my skin type. It's not enough for me. And yet I'm a huge fan of this. I don't even use it, but I respect this product so much. And you know, I'm really into textures. That's one of the most important experiences when it comes to skincare, besides if it works, right? I love textures. First of all, it's beautiful, like aqua, like a swimming pool gel texture. It looks so refreshing and it feels even more refreshing on the skin. It's like a drink of cool water on a hot day. So hydrating, so plumping. It feels really cooling and soothing on the skin, especially if you have overheated skin. Gorgeous gel texture, quick absorbency into the skin. There's very little occlusivity to this. It's not the type of gel like moisturizer that just disappears. You know what I mean? It's not that thin, um, but it's just the right lightness to really do what a moisturizer is supposed to do without overwhelming oily skin with that nice burst of hydration love this so, so, so much. Really respect this one. And it really is one of my top recommendations for oily skin types. Now, if you're a little bit more like me, leaning towards the dry side, you like a little bit more of a medium weight type of moisturizer with a little bit more occlusivity, I adore their Moisture Power Enriched Cream. This is such a wonderful moisturizer from top to bottom. Ingredients, ceramides, cholesterol, fatty acids. This is actually very good for dehydrated skin. Um, anybody who suffers with uh, their moisture barrier, those are the three ingredients that really help strengthen your skin. The texture though, the texture. I told you it's important to me and this one really impressed me as well because even though this is a more medium weight, little bit more occlusive type of cream, there is hydration here. It actually really makes your skin feel plump. 
but it also has that moisture. It's really not a super emollient. I mean, there's emolliency to this, not super though. It's not a greasy moisturizer. It's not gonna leave a film or a shine on top of your skin. It's got great absorbency. It does all of its moisturizing inside of your skin. It just comforts and soothes with that moisture with really good occlusivity to fight dehydration lovely feeling on the skin. I really like this one. I mean, I've used it in the fall. I've used it in the winter. It served my skin when I get like a lot more on the dry side. I really, really like this one. So if you're a little bit more like me, this is the one I would say to look at. Although sometimes you're kind of in between those two worlds. You don't want the fully medium nourishing type of cream. You don't want the like super light gel texture. You just need something that is a little bit in between. And that is where the B5D Panthenol cream comes in because this kind of marries the best of both worlds, at least in my opinion. So Panthenol is another one of those great barrier supportive ingredients. It actually is a wonderful hydrator for your skin, but it also helps to strengthen your skin's lipid layer, which actually helps to fight dehydration. So it's an excellent ingredient. We have 10% in this formula. Now the texture is so lovely, and this is really where I said it kind of comes in between the other two moisturizers we just talked about, because it's more on the lotion side of things, the consistency. It's not as, as thick as a cream, like the Moisture Power Cream. But of course, it's got a little bit more nourishment, a little bit more weight to it than the gel cream does. So it's really nice for combination skin. Love this texture. It's silky, it's airy. It brings a little hydration. It brings a little bit of moisture, but just in a lighter texture. It brings occlusivity, but it doesn't overwhelm your skin. It doesn't make it feel like it can't breathe. Cosrx, like I said, low key, really excels at moisturizers for very different skin types. I mean, I even mentioned the Sika cream and the Propolis cream earlier in the video. Those can also be considered, you know, in this moisturizer category. Lots of different options. If you are searching for a moisturizer, it is actually a, a tricky skincare product to get just right, is it not? I mean, second to sunscreen. It's a very individual choice. And if you are searching and you don't know where to start, look at Cosrx, they have lots of options. The fifth area where Cosrx really excels is exfoliants. Now, as you know, in K-Beauty, the exfoliants tend to be a little bit more on the gentle side, especially if you are used to Western skincare products. You do have to kind of come in knowing that these are going to be gentler formulations. But even so, I think that these are very, very good examples of exfoliants in K-Beauty that are very potent and very effective. So I particularly like their BHA uh, liquid. This is something that I I still use to this day. I think it's great. It's got 4% of betaine salicylate, and this is something very close to salicylic acid. You want to think about it like two times gentler than salicylic acid. So actually betaine salicylate at 4% roughly translates to the results you would get with 2% of salicylic acid, but this is done in a very hydrating, gentle formula. And they are also using willow bark extract in this, which is an ingredient that contains natural gentle salicylates in it. This is particularly good for any type of impurity in your pores. So as the name suggests, blackheads, clogged pores, um, texture, you know, anything that's kind of getting trapped inside of your pore, BHA is the one to go for because it can dive inside of your pore and exfoliate inside that pore lining, helping to clear it out. Now they also have their AHA white head power liquid, and this contains 7% of glycolic acid. Now AHAs are going to be your choice if you're looking to really clear like excessive dead skin cells off the top of your skin. It's great for brightening, working on hyperpigmentation. It can also help with fine lines and wrinkles. And just generally thinking of AHA as revealing clearer, smoother, refreshed skin. Skin. So now I want to know what are your top Cosrx products? Let me know in the comment box below. If you got this far in the video and you have not hit subscribe yet, I feel like we have a thing going. So please consider subscribing to my channel to see more from me. I release two, sometimes three uh, videos every single week. I release a lot of content actually throughout the week. So consider turning on those notifications too, so you don't miss out on all the new skincare content that I release. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I really do hope you are healthy, happy, and safe, and I can't wait for you to go out and conquer this day. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.